Hi, my name is Jeremy Hyden, recording artist and radio host for HighEnergyRadio.com. Today I'll be unboxing the Crossfade LP by Vmoda. The Crossfade LP is a high-end headset. Uh, it's about $250 and you can find it at the Apple Store or online directly from Vmoda. Uh, Vmoda is more of a style company, so if you want to look as cool as you possibly can, the Vmodas are one of the best. Uh, let's unbox it. First I had pre-cut off the ribbon. There was a ribbon that was sealing the box. It's kind of classy. It has a, like a uh, alligator handle. Very fancy. And a flip switch. Open that up and it's not riveted. It's actually you know screwed with screws. So it's the, the packaging is very exotic and very high end. Um, which is something you have to expect from headphones of this price. Uh, from a retail store. Inside we have the foam pad, a bunch of the packaging material, poster talking about the, um, the headphones and their style. Some more documentation. Uh, in it is uh, a cleaning cloth as well as a uh, credit card with a specific and serial number that will let you register the product. And I definitely recommend you registering this because this is my second set. And without registering, it would be a little bit more difficult to get it repaired or replaced. Inside of the box is a very tight-fitting uh, headphone case. Very neat. It's not hard, but it's definitely firm. It does have some give. Um, nylon zipper. Like a red velvet type of inside. Uh, and then we see two cord keeping velcro uh, straps. One holds the standard uh, headset cable and a quarter inch jack for your audiophile high end turntable tuners, those kind of things. And then the other one is the cable you're probably going to use more, like me. And that cable is the iPhone cable. The iPhone cable has the uh, Eighth inch jacks on both ends. One end is the one that goes into the phone and it's angled is very, very sturdy, very strong. This cable is coated with fabric, which is unfortunate because after about three days of use, this fabric will start fraying on the end and it, there's nothing you can do about it. It doesn't hurt the playback, it doesn't hurt the use of it, it just starts looking kind of bad. And then the other side is the one that goes into the headphones and it has the microphone and the um, um, remote control on it. Middle button for answering calls and play pausing your recordings you're listening to. Volume up and down. Inside, we take out the headphones. These are extremely sturdy. You'll notice that they're very, very, very well built. It has steel reinforcements on both sides. It is extremely strong and very tight fitting. The reason I like these, um, is as far as looks go is when you put them on they're very tight fitting and they have a very to your head look unlike the um, their competitor which is sort of not a competitor but the Bose comp competition the quiet comfort 15 about the same price range these have these flare out very high on the on the head and they look a little bit awkward they really scream I'm wearing headphones whereas the Vmoda very, very close to your head. The style is phenomenal. It definitely looks better. Looks like you're wearing little shields. These, this is the gunmetal um, color. Uh, the gunmetal black. They also have a white and a pearl, pearl white, um, and then I think a chrome. The chrome is very, very cool. Instead of the matte finish, like this one has the gunmetal, like a, like a gun. Um, this has a matte finish. The chrome will have a very glossy black and we'll have bright mirrored metal on the sides. The ear cups on the V-Mode are very sturdy and very strong. Unlike the Quiet Comfort, they do not need sound canceling because they are very, very quiet when you wear them. They're so tight to your ear, comfortable tight, mind you. Very tight, uh, they just have a sound deadening feel to them. They're very clear. The headphone jack will plug into the bottom of the headphones as you see simple and we're done now if you're an audiophile 
as I am, it's very uh, it's very easy to pick which headset to wear. The Bose Quiet Comfort are going to be hands down a better sound. Um, they're not on a studio level like some of the Sennheisers or the Sony's that you're going to find in pro recording studios, but the Bose has phenomenal sound, especially with the iPhone. Um, uh, I usually compress all of my audio recordings to 320k MP3. I don't go anything lower than that if I can avoid it, and very important recordings are always waves in the highest, you know, uncompressed level. But between the two headphones, if you want style, you're going to want the, the V-Modas, the crossfades, are hands down the better looking. If you want the sound, you're going to want the Bose. Um, the Bose has crisp highs, perfectly clear mids, and extremely clear bass. The crossfades have very good highs, very good mids, and very loud bass. It's a, almost a muddy bass. On any recordings um, that you're going to have that are from the 80s, you're going to have the worst time EQing it. You're going to have to go through EQ settings based on the genre of music you play, as well as the decade of music almost. The 90s were really high-end, but really loud, and the 80s were very high definition, but very quiet. And then today, everything's so freaking loud, so and real bassy. So these are pretty good for today's music, but if you want to go to the 80s or even the 90s, you're going to have to do some EQ settings to make the sound what you want. But at 250 bucks, the headphones are so well built, cloth on the inside, leather on the top. Um, they rock very good. They're so strong. I don't think these are ever going to break. Um, I did notice some cracking. This is the second pair, as I mentioned earlier, but they replaced them with no problem. Uh, I just had to pay shipping to send it back one time, but then they sent it to me with it shipping. Uh, the inside, where the headband comes together to the ear cup, the inside, the screws were so tight that they were cracking the plastic. Um, that was not as bad as the uh, Dr. Dre's that I had, but made by Monster. Those pretty much broke in half. Um, the, if you go to any Best Buy and look at the demo, you'll see that they are, the, 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 the Dr. Dre's are almost all of them in every store you're going to see. If they've been there at least a month, they're cracking. And um, if they've been there a little bit longer than a month, and if it's a harder use demo, it's going to be broken in half almost. I've seen many of them like that. And uh, it was a shame because the Dr. Dre's looked so cool and they sounded so great. But required a battery, just like the, Q Comf the Quiet Comfort 15s require a AAA battery. Your V Moda will not, and this that is the next best thing about these. You just put them on, plug them in, and you're ready to go. No accessories, no batteries, nothing, and you have excellent sound. So if you're if you can handle a little bit of EQing and you want to look really cool, the V Modas are definitely my choice, and I'm going to be wearing them for quite some time. The Vmoda Crossfade LP headphones are definitely my pick for style. If you want the look and you want to look really cool wearing relatively large headphones, you can't pass up the style of the Vmodas. Unfortunately, the Vmoda headphones are very tight fitting, very conforming, somewhat constricting. You will have some headphone fatigue wearing these headphones. Um, you can get used to that, it just takes a little bit longer. Unlike any model of the Bose headphones, Bose has very soft fitting ear cups and the foam inside the ear cup is like a Tempur-Pedic style foam. After a few seconds of wearing a Bose headphones, you can't really tell you're wearing them. You just all of a sudden have headphones on. But the V-Moda, you definitely always know you're wearing them. But as with all things style, you have to give up a little bit of comfort to have the look you need. So if you can put up with that, um, like I said, you will get used to it. The V-Modas are definitely my pick for style. The only other thing before I wrap up here is the microphone that is right about here. When you walk and you're outside, it's going to be a lot of wind noise um, and it's going to rub on your clothing. If it was up just a little bit higher, we would avoid some of the neck sound and some of the touching of your clothing when you make phone calls for the other person. Of course, you can hear them clearly. They're just not going to hear you as perfect as you'd like. Thank you very much for viewing my unveiling of the Vmoda Crossfade LP headphones and mine are in the gunmetal black. Uh, my name again is Jeremy Hyden, and you can view my website at jeremyhyden.com with any comments or questions. Thank you.